Hello everyone, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm trying the viral TikTok tissue paper makeup trend that's been going on right now and I have to say I'm so obsessed with this look. So first of all, the reason why I have my camera like that is because I bought a new tripod. Um, it's a little bit high, so that's why it's a little bit higher, but it has a ring light around it and I have my camera in the middle and I absolutely love the light that this is giving me. I'm most probably going to be getting a shorter tripod just for the light. Please let me know how you like this video and also in the process of this tutorial as well. So before I go ahead and start off this makeup viral trend that's been going on right now, if you're new here to my channel, thank you guys so much for stopping by and also taking your time to watch my video. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button to get notified every time I upload a new video. It would really, really, really mean a lot to me. So if you guys would like to learn how I created this look slash got inspired by TikTok, please keep on watching. I will also credit the person who kind of showed this look on TikTok. There's a lot of them, so I'm not sure who actually started this trend. So I do highly apologize, but I will link the girl's name from where I saw this video and uh, you can kind of like go in there and the credits are in there, okay? So I'm, I'm trying to credit this person, so I'm, I'm trying to know who it is. <laughs> but I will leave her name in the description box down below. You can go ahead and check out her videos. I love her so freaking much. Alrighty, so let me go ahead and start off this tutorial. Alrighty, so this is what we are going to be doing today. It's honestly really fun and super easy, messy, but really fun and easy. So let me go ahead and prime my eyes. Since we want all of that colors to pop, I'm gonna go ahead and use my white base. This is from Kat Von D and this is white out. And I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of that on my eye. Taking my brush, blending it out. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and blend it all out for a smooth, surface the fun part is that you don't need brushes for this look except like for finishing up like the corners right here and just like a little bit down there but all you need is your handy dandy tissue paper i did use tissue papers for this eye but i'm not going to reuse them i know it's a waste please forgive me but i tried and it was a mess so i do highly recommend that you use a cleaner brush if you're doing your eyes separately but if you're doing them together then just use the same one but it got so messy here and that since i'm filming the tutorial i can't deal with the mess so i threw all of them out and then i'm just gonna restart from the beginning so i'm gonna grab my first color i know this pink but i'm gonna start off with the purple and i'm using the jeffree star palette i'm gonna grab this purple right here and that one is called mogul don't know what mogul means but all right, you can use any palettes that you want. I didn't have one palette that had all the rainbow colors that I wanted. Some of them do, but there are mainly like shimmer colors in there and I want it to be matte. The only shimmer I want is that white in the inner corners, but I really wanted all the colors to be matte. Honestly, since your purple is on your tissue, all you need to do is just dab it onto your skin. It doesn't need to be perfect. Trust me, this is a very messy look, but also very fun and festive. So let me go ahead and pop that. So let's start off with the purple first. Ow! The purple first. Ow! I just poked myself. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep it like that. And then I'm gonna grab another tissue, do the same thing, crunch it all up. And then I'm gonna go into a blue color and I'm going to be using the Kat Von D palette. And this is the blue that I'm using. This one is called Zinth. And this palette is from the Mi Vida Loca palette. This is discontinued, unfortunately. But again, grab any blue that you want. And I'm going to put this right next to the purple. I didn't want that there, but it's fine. It's fine. It's totally fine. Next, grabbing another tissue paper, crunch it all up. I'm gonna be grabbing this green right here from the Morphe palette again. Uh, this one is called Nate. You need to kind of have the tissue looking somewhat like that. I think like when you have like a look like this, I feel like it looks more artsy and really kind of like a splatter of paint on you and it's really fun. So if you're trying this look, make sure that it looks something like that. You need to have like those kind of white lines in there. I don't know. I just find it more fun that way. 
So, and this green is going to go right in the middle, right next to the blue like that. Next is the yellow and I'm grabbing the one from Makeup Revolution and Friends and this one is bracelet and this is We Were on the Break palette. And the yellow is going to go in the inner corners right here. Oh yeah, that's a nice yellow. I love that. <laughs> it's like messy but so nice. Now I'm going to go into the orange and I'm also using the orange from the Makeup Revolution palette and is this one right here. I believe this is called Fireball. Yeah, Fireball into the inner corner just like that big old mess and the pink i'm going to be grabbing is from the palette again from uh, makeup revolution and friends and this is called love machine and the pink is going to go on the outer corners right here the reason why i did this at the end the pink because i just don't know why i just did it so it looks like that i know it looks like a big mess but we're going to keep it like that because we are artsy today, okay? I have this big brush right here. I'm gonna try to sweep a little bit of that blue because I don't want blue down there. And I'm just going to kind of blend out that pink a tiny bit. I'm gonna grab Love Machine with a big fluffy brush. And I'm just going to pat this pink on the outer corners of the lower lash line. What you can do if you want, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my loose powder and pat it here just to kind of cut down that pink if you don't want it to be all the way down i think i don't want it to be all the way down so i'm just going to go ahead and pack some of that it's just going to diffuse that pink a tiny bit and i'm also going to be mixing a little bit of those pinks from the kat von d uh, palette just to give it a little bit more pinkness for the inner corners, I'm mixing a few things. I'm going to be taking a color from the Nikki Tutorials palette and this one right here. This is called Ivy. I'm just sweating my brush a tiny bit with this color. And I'm going to put that in the inner corners right here. It doesn't show that much, but this is just going to give me a little bit of shimmer. Next, I'm going to grab this color right here. This is called Welcome. This is from the Jeffree and morphe palette i'm just gonna pack that in the inner corners with the ivy and then for a little bit more shimmer i'm grabbing this one right here this is the elf this is the liquid glitter eyeshadow and this one is called disco queen i'm gonna grab that with my finger and i'm going to pat it all the way in the inner corners this is really going to just give me extra shimmer and shine an extra glitter. I'm gonna grab my white gel liner. This is the gel and smudger from NYX. And I'm going to grab this white and I'm going to put that in the waterline. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pop my mascara on and lashes. The lashes I'm using are from the MFMA lashes and these are the Pro light ones and i have two pairs stacked in together just for extra volume and if ever you wish to shop the lashes make sure that you use my code and it's lbbynd for 10 percent off your purchase i will leave that information as well in the description box down below let me go ahead and pop these on and i'll be back to finish up the face with you guys all right, I just want to let you guys know that I did go ahead and apply a liquid liner on top only. I did not wing it out as you guys could see. And I used my Kat Von D Tattoo Trooper liner to do that. I went ahead and I contoured a tiny bit. And I'm just going to go ahead and retouch my face a little bit more. So I'm just going to grab Shadow Play. Browns up the face a tiny bit and give it a little bit more definition. And I'm also going to grab a little bit of Subconscious. For blush, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Juvia's Place. And I'm going to be mixing this color and this color together. And this one is called Tau and this one's called Lena. So I'm going to go ahead and mix those two together very lightly because this palette is extremely pigmented. If you feel like you applied a little bit too much, just take your powder foundation, just a tiny bit, and blend it all out. Now I'm going to set my face, and I'm using my Too Faced Hungover Setting Spray. For highlight, I'm going to go ahead and kind of go with kind of like the white-ish look, uh, but again, not too white on my face. I'm going to go ahead and use this palette right here. This is the uh, Jeffree Star 24 Karat Gold 
palette and I'm gonna grab this color right here I will leave the name of it in the description box because it's very hard to spell okay very hard to spell so I'm just gonna grab some of that and I'm going to pat it on my skin for some shimmer look at this I love this one so much because it is pale but it's a nice shade I did tan a little bit so this is not gonna look super white on my face so that's why i love this so much for lips i'm gonna go ahead and do a nude because with something like this it's a very colorful and very out there so nude i think would be the best ideal lip color for this look and i'm gonna use my favorites all of these so hover lip liner from mac mannequin liquid lipstick from jeffree star and Fenty Beauty, this is, I think it's called Milk Diamond or Diamond Milk, Diamond Milk. And I'm just going to go ahead and add that as well for more shine. I'm going to go ahead and add Mannequin. Oh yeah, my favorite lip mix ever. I'm gonna wait till that dries down a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and fix up my hair and I'll be back to show you the gloss and finish up this tutorial with you guys. Nails, hair, hips, heels, ass, fat, lips, real. Y'all, five, four, three, two, so I'm a one day. Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I ended up leaving the lips matte. I don't know why, I just kind of preferred it more than the gloss. Yeah, I just want my eyes to pop. And honestly, guys, I can't tell you how much I love this look. It turned out to be so freaking gorgeous and messy, but gorgeous messy. All the products that I used on my face today is going to be listed in the description box down below for you guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please throw me a thumbs up. It would really help me out and I would also really appreciate it. I want to wish you all a wonderful Pride Month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!